In this video, I'm going to show you how Bob and I gave this stuffy old Chase a facelift. Enjoy. Anyway, this is a tough job, but we're gonna try to do it. It's finished, completely stripped. That was a job and a half. Chase, we're working on the chase. Um, I saw a antique chase up in an antique store in um, Pennsylvania, and this is where I got the idea for this. And it was completely stripped, like this one. And there were just slats across the whole thing. And what my thought was, if I found, ever found a chase, that I would do the same thing. I would take the strip the upholstery off and put slats across the whole thing, and then I'm gonna do a French uh, box cushion on the top with a pillow. Instead of reupholstering the whole thing, I might have to do one little piece. I'll show you back here. I'll probably do one little piece of fabric there with some foam behind it. But this whole bed is just going to be um, slats of boards, and then I'll paint the whole thing. I had to repair a large gap at the end of the chase, so I used amazing mold putty and clear epoxy. I made my mold from the other corner. Um, it was hard to get a good moat around it and some of the epoxy did leak out, but I had enough pieces to um, do a nice repair. I was happy with it. So I used a little bit of E6000 um, and fit in my pieces. And all said and done, it really came out quite nice. I just wanted to say one thing, um, folks. I didn't do videos for a really long time because I thought everything had to be perfect. My makeup, my hair, my area that I was doing it. No, no, you'll never do them if, that, if, you, if that's what you're waiting for. I have done so many incredible projects that I didn't video because I was waiting waiting to lose weight, waiting for the, anyway, there's no more waiting folks. So you gotta take me as I am. So I did a base coat of um, letterpress gray and I decided to do a sandy blonde as my next coat. And here's the reason why. I was going to put fabric in the back, but decided wouldn't that be cool if I did some, an IOD transfer back there it's the same on the other side. So we put um, wood in here. Because of the style of this chase, I decided to use the Japonica transfer by IOD. So I will cut that and I will put that in there, in the front and in the back. So I'm gonna use this as my color palette for my next layer of paint, as well as my uh, linen cushion that I'm going to make. So I decided that Sandy Blonde would be perfect. I'm gonna pull it out of these flowers here. I wanted to show you, I turned that bright light off on top because you can really appreciate it better. But as I started wet distressing, some of the white primer started coming through and I loved it. So, you know, as part of the creative process, sometimes you don't always know. Um, how things are going to turn out or but just get started just get started I'm back my face is all red because I've been out mowing the lawn see this is what I mean this is what I mean about just jumping in and doing your project or you'll never tape anything okay just do it all of you that have been kind of putting it off and no because if you're like me I come down and I work on my projects when I have time. Plus, everything has drying time and waiting time. So just start doing some videos and you can edit stuff out. Edit is a wonderful thing, okay? What I wanted to show you guys is um, because I liked this white peeking out so much, I decided that I'm going to add some beadboard to some of these other areas and I think it'll be a really nice compliment the sandy blonde, the letterpress gray, and then right up in here and down in here, I'm gonna do some beadboard.
definitely giving me the effect I want. However, when you're working with um, old and gray or any of the patinas, um, you have to work in small areas if you want to wipe them back because they dry pretty quick. I love how that came out. Do you guys like that? Come on. How cool is that? Um, okay, here's the thing. Um, I have to go to the house of phone. It's this great little store. It's only a couple miles from me in Baltimore. So here we are at the House of Foam. Um, they're just gray here. He's cutting my piece for me from my template. Then he wraps it in um, poly and gets it all glued on. Just fantastic. Um, really worth every cent. So I'm sewing my French box cushion. I was actually going to do a separate tutorial on this, but I just didn't get to film the edges um, close enough so you could see um, how the stitching works, so I'll do another um, video on that. But I put some covered buttons in the top and um, did the uh, French um, top to the top and the bottom of it. I just loved um, how the colors um, complemented uh, the chase and the IOD transfer. I then made a large um, pillow cover, uh, European sham style, for the cushion in the back. I am really wrapping up this project. I thought it would never come to an end, um, but it has really been fun and it's really exciting and I can't wait to share this video with you all. So this is the back of my chase. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more of the Japonica transfer in this back piece and I know it'll probably be up against a wall, but I couldn't leave this blank. I hope you found some inspiration in this project. One of my favorite Bible verses is 2 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away, behold, all things are become new. We often say that we're a work in progress, but actually, we're a new creation. And that lets us rest in the love of God, because we know that He will complete what He has started. Thank you for watching my video today, and please visit my website um, at thecrossedpearl.com as well as my YouTube channel. God bless.